Hello, Game Cooker US Rocks VR here, uh, doing another unboxing video. Um, I was shopping around for a, another 1080p 60 frames per second camera, um, and I found the one that you see here to the left of me at least. Um, it's a Nexigo N94P 2K zoomable webcam with remote control and a Sony sensor. And you can see the specs here. Um, I had a choice between a, another Logitech or this one. And, you know, the remote control and the fact that the camera turns left and right. Um, plus it has the adapter. Um as well um, let's see if I can do this the adapter there to go from USB to uh, C if you need to do that um, I can probably look at the specs I don't know how it's gonna work on this thing now let's see let me see is it gonna just scroll yeah it is so it has USB A and C it has dual stereo microphone, which is interesting. It was $99 at Micro Center. Um, the reviews, well, were okay on here and Amazon. So it says powered by 2K, 1440, 30 frames per second, QHD, 5 megapixel Sony CMOS sensor. Um, but it does stream apparently at uh, 1080p, 60 frames. So, you know, and uh, somebody does have it working with a Mac Book Pro if that you're interested in that, and a Dell D6000 docking station. Um, yeah, so let's get right into this and see. Uh, what this thing looks like, and then I'll, I will, um. I will also record the second half of this video with this camera so we can see if the thing works or not or if it's defective because <laughs> you know I don't know these off brands although this might be a popular brand somewhere else Boy, this plastic is tight I got my contacts on so it's very hard for me to see I'm sorry about the zooming that's why Logitech cameras pain in the neck. That's why I, di I didn't get another Logitech because their zooming is like so ridiculous. It won't let me configure. I mean, I could zoom it in closer. But that's the thing I hate about this uh, the 4K cameras. It's a really nice camera, but it just doesn't stay consistent with the zoom, you know what I mean? So what do we got here? Um, it's got little privacy covers. So that's good. Some people like that. Okay, so right off the bat, it looks like... Let's see here. Ah, so there's the one downfall. Is the it's got the cord coming right out the back so it doesn't detach so it's pretty good size somebody said that you can also mount this on a um, can't really see though See if we can take this out without breaking it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like taking these things off. All right, so here's the thing here. Opens up pretty good. I don't know. I was going to try to mount it on a um, tripod, but I'm afraid to pull these things off. I guess if I can get it off, I'll show you. Okay, so, right, so it's USB... 
I think 2.0. Um, so there's that. And then it comes with, uh, where's the adapter? This must be the adapter here. Little USB to C, so that's pretty nice to have actually. That's stuff back in there. Put that like that. There you go. And I guess this is the remote control, so. Um. Boy, oh boy, they really packed this stuff good. I hope this is recording okay. <coughs> so it just looks like a regular, like, <laughs> DVD remote. I wonder if there's batteries. Does it come with batteries? No, it doesn't come with batteries. Did I miss the batteries? Maybe I did. Let me check inside the box. Maybe they were hiding in there, but I don't feel any weight on this thing. Heh. They were too cheap to have batteries. Probably because they shipped it from China or something. Alright, so I'm going to put this stuff back in there just so I can have it safe. In fact, what I'll do is I'll put this in here. Way they'll be safe because they got plenty of USB ports. Now the throughput in the uh, the C is going to be uh, better than say um, putting it in the regular USB, but 1080p it should be just fine. But again, you know the camera, it just looks like a standard kind of shape like the Logitech ones. Again, this is the only downfall. You can't pull out the wire. So you, what the, the reason why I don't like these is because after a while, when you bend them, they just don't work anymore. So if I can get this thing off, <laughs> boy, that just is really, that's actually, when I pull this, see, it's pulling this thing out. <laughs> that's not good. I don't think that comes off. I'll have to read the manual, though. All right, where are we at here? All right, I'll be back. I'm going to see if I can get this thing hooked up now. So when, when I come back, it should be recording with that camera. All right, so I'm back in here. This is the camera I'm using now. Here's the remote control. And just so you know, I made a mistake before. So on the under, on the bottom of this, which you guys probably saw in the video and I didn't, is the, uh, there's a, the screw hole to uh, put it on a tripod. They don't really show it on this, uh, on this picture here, but it's on there. So you can put the camera on a tripod. So the remote control, you can basically turn the volume off and on with this button, the microphone. It goes up, down, left, right. I mean, it's pretty, focuses pretty quickly, you know, pretty fast. So I like it. Um... You can zoom, I think. I'm not sure if you can do it in here. You might have, you might have to get the software. Oh, there you go. So you can zoom. That was all, all the way in. And then um, volume, which I guess is your microphone volume, I guess. But I don't think it works. I'm using OBS right now. Testing, testing. Oh, yeah, it is going up. Look at that. Testing, testing. Yep. So right now I'm using the sound, the mic in the camera. So 
you can tell it sounds a little different. Sorry, I'm <laughs> really in bad shape today. I didn't sleep much. So, um, forgive my background too. I just kind of wanted to get this video out. So, I mean, for at least so far, and I did see the videos I made. The quality isn't, you know, too bad. Like I said, it it's very responsive, you know. There's no, like, lag or anything like that. How does it work when things are at depth? So, so when there might be a little problem if there's too many objects. But, like, for just you, it should be focusing fairly well. So, there you go. So, um, yeah. Nexigo. Never heard of them, but uh, so far it seems okay. And remember, it's uh, this thing here is where the, you, you mount on the tripod. There's a little screw hole. So I apologize for missing that. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.